hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video i am gonna be taking down all the christmas stuff it's a new year's refresh so let's do that <laughs> So the way I like to start everything off is by getting everything out. So taking down all the Christmas stuff, I started with the wreaths and just made piles for every room of where there was Christmas stuff in. <laughs> By the way, I am aware that I'm not the best at putting up things in boxes. I know, I just, I get lazy in that part, okay? As long as I put the stuff that is actually capable of breaking and I actually bubble that up, wrap it up, then everything else is just fine. Trust me. Now we're getting into the most fun part of all when it comes to taking down Christmas stuff. Taking down the Christmas tree, all the ornaments, all the lights. At first, my goal with putting up the ornaments was to put them back in the boxes, but as I continued to put the stuff away, honestly, it was just more convenient to just put in a box and just be gentle with the box.
Just I'm gonna put a fly Baby, you give me a good night You whip up my appetite Christmas. I don't even have that many boxes for my yearly decor. Crazy. Instead of making it just a short video with just the Christmas stuff, it wasn't, it was all over the place for me, guys. I was just trying to get it done. I'm tired. So, um, next, we are going to put out, I would say, kind of the yearly decor, but also a little bit of a couple themes here and there because, as you guys know, Valentine's Day is coming up, and even though it's only a month, I kind of want to drag it into January, so I will do a couple of um a couple of hearts you know valentine's day stuff and i just want to pay my respects to my grandpa he was born in february and he did die in february too he died a couple of days after his birthday so i just want to celebrate him and have it all over my home so that's what we're gonna do for christmas my mom got me this frame that's me and my grandpa and that's me uh blowing out a cake so yeah and it says my name and it says grandpa right there it's really cute so have it in my little desk area which is crazy messy but it's okay that's how you know i'm making videos so i got this one out 
as you guys know, it's obvious that I like butterflies, so I'm going to keep put this out um, and then do the classical vase with the flowers. This is all year round, so we can do that. I would wash it, but I don't feel like it right now. Don't judge me. So, yes, this one, super beautiful. I think I got it at TJ Maxx, pretty sure. And then this one right here, this is a candle slash little vase, too. Like a cool little vase. But, mm, I mean, I barely, I don't really use it for that as a candle because it doesn't really smell. Also, it's dirty. I don't even know how it got dirty, but it got dirty. So, we need to wash that. Def I need to clean this one for sure. I'm going to clean this one before I put it out. So, we're going to clean that and then maybe try to see where I should put this because I am not sure. And then, as you guys can see, over there, we still have two Christmas things. Those are very, very bulky and big and I just don't want them to break. I know I'm not the best at storing Christmas stuff or really anything because I honestly get lazy but I definitely did not want to mess those two up so I just I'm just gonna put them somewhere up either there or over there I think I'm gonna put them over there but yes that's the plan and then look as you guys can see I already have some stuff out for Valentine's Day I found this at Tuesday morning so and then I have this that I want to put out. I got this from Target. Um, I think this was $3 or $5. Okay. So that was $5 and that was $3. This is a cute little tic-tac-toe. This is as decor. Um, and yeah. After I put this stuff up, I'm going to show you guys how empty and bare my apartment looks. Like, it's so funny. Once you put, up, put away all the decor... I mean, it makes sense, of course, but I'm just saying it just looks so bare. It's crazy. Like, look at this. That's crazy. It looks, well, it looks like a lot because of the dishes, but I promise I'm going to put the dishes up and get to doing all that good stuff. So, I cleaned the kitchen, and I didn't show you guys because this isn't a cleaning video. I purposely left it out because I, this is not a cleaning video this is more of like a reset and putting things out that are yearly decor stuff like that it's not a cleaning video i forgot to show you guys but when i was in austin i got a mug and it's so cool it says austin i need to figure out what i'm gonna put in the kitchen and where am i going to put it i'm gonna leave that there for now it might change everything's subject to change then i cleaned the countertops um i just spray some dawn on there i like to let the dawn sit a little bit especially if it's gonna be a, uh, a couple stains i like to let it sit so it's easier to clean then you just spray that one down there too i might move the checkerboard to the living room right there but we'll see also i need to vacuum all of this Look, oh my goodness. So as you guys can see, the Christmas tree's down and the kitchen area is clean. I don't know about the rest of the house. The bedroom is mostly clean and so is the bathroom. I just need a mop in the bathroom, but I already cleaned and sweeped and mopped in the kitchen. So, yes, that's good. But right now, honestly, I'm so tired. I haven't eaten since this morning, since this morning and it's currently 5 o'clock. So, I'm going to take a little break. <sighs> and eat something real quick and watch a little bit of tv and we'll continue the process okay intermission okay i'm back from my little break and i already vacuumed as you guys can see i want to do something different for this table nothing too different but just a little different i might put that one under not on top as i usually do and put something else here We'll see. And I have to bring my plant out. Let's do that right now. So, here's the plant. Okay. I hate moving this plant because every time I move it, it's it's hard to figure out how to put it back together. So, I'm trying to work with this here. I gotta keep working.
that's the best I'm gonna do right now. I'll keep playing with it, but right now, that's not my main focus. I will leave these right here, as I usually do. I wanted to do some changes, but honestly, next thing you know, I will be moving soon, so it's okay. I'm just gonna leave that there. I need to get the blanket for the basket, and let's figure out what we're gonna do with this table. This table is our main focus right now. I played around with it a little bit, but this is what I have decided so far, at least for the top area. This is what we're gonna do for right now. These are real pieces, and you can play with these, but I just have it as decor, and I don't even know how to play, y'all. I don't know how to play, unfortunately, so if you want to teach me, let me know. I'm ready to learn. We just got the candle going right there, the lid for the candle, the coasters. The remote flower and down there I have my Shutterfly album of myself and the little plate that you guys saw from Target. So let's see what we can do down there. But maybe we will just leave it like that just because it's it's not very crowded and I like that. I don't like it to be too much. I definitely don't want to add anything else up here. It would be too much, but maybe either change that out and do something else or see what we should do down there we really don't have much going on in the kitchen or the bathroom so i brought up my yearly box that's what i call it my yearly box and let's see what i have in here so definitely gonna put these back out maybe this here will change the vase and get different flowers but for now those will be fine thought i had more let's see what else we have in here Oh, there's that ball. We got some Easter stuff. Oh, look. Let's put this out. This would be great for Valentine's Day. So let's put this out. We're going to put this one here. Yeah, we're going to put this one here. And actually, I might put the cups down there because... They're relevant right now. They're empty, so that is what I have so far. And I do want to get like a fake plant to put right there because that is a plant holder as well. Or maybe something from IKEA, like that one right there. I don't know. What else? What else? Mm. We're gonna leave those in there. Okay, where's all my stuff? I swear, y'all. Every time I decorate for Christmas or change out for any season bro i swear it's like i got rid of everything where's all my stuff i could put these plants on top like i usually do i might do that oh you can maybe use this for valentine's day a picture of me <laughs> i don't know i might change it out that's what i might do oh my god That is what this is looking like. Still super bare. I honestly don't know where any of my stuff is. Did put a picture down there. I will change the frame to that picture. But as far as the kitchen, I am shocked. I don't know what we're going to do. Put that plant right there. And really, I don't put too much in this area because this is my work area. So, And since that is bare, I decided to just do the old-fashioned way and put those up there. Unless I see something at Target or Dollar Tree, something cheap, not, nothing expensive. And maybe I'll switch it out. For right now, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so that's what we're doing for the entrance. Super simple and cute. Let's place this out a little better. There we go. That's much better. And there are the keys and masks. I have this one out because I'm going to give it away to my sister. Because I don't I don't like it anymore, to be honest. I kept keeping it to see if I would put it somewhere else. But I don't like it anymore. That's the truth. So, it's okay to get rid of things. In the meantime, here's the kitchen. Still super bare. I brought out the good old la or Himalayan lamp or the little salt lamp, whatever you want, guys want to call it. Did you guys miss the lamp? I missed the lamp. I sure did. I almost forgot about it. So there we have the 
Himalayan lamp. Now let's take out the Valentine's Day stuff that you guys can see right there. I was also going to burn an incense, but turns out I'm out of them, which I'm so shocked. So, that means I need to go get some. Five Below has some really good selections for that. So let's open this up. We are really just going to use these for decor. I don't plan on using it for anything, but I'm sure to make it and use it for baking purposes. I'm not sure. Candy? I don't know. Just any cute stuff you want to do if you're hosting something for Valentine's Day. This could be really pretty on the table. Let's unwrap this first and then figure out what we're going to do with this one. And then we can figure out what we're going to do with the other one. So we have to be very careful that we don't drop any. It's going to be interesting. I mean, if it drops, it's fine. But what do we think? Do we like that? And then we could put this one right here, right next to it, like that. I don't know. I don't know if I like it covering the plants that much. It's so big. I thought it was going to be less, not, not as big, let's just say that. But I don't know. What do y'all think? It has potential. It really does. But, oh, wow. So much for being careful. What if we put it like that? No, that's too much. How about that? No. Well, I don't know. But for now, we'll just do that and then leave it like that. And if I decide to change it, then we'll change it. Actually, y'all, I have an idea. So how about we move this one to the bathroom? I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's see if it works out. So what we could do is switch out this one the, that one and then we can do the red here you know like Valentine's Day Valentine's Day ish what do we think oh it looks so beautiful <laughs> it looks so beautiful that I don't even want to cover it with the sign let's see now it doesn't want to stand up I guess it's not really good for just standing up because it won't stay up I had a vision with this board and now I don't know what I want to do with the XOXO board. Maybe we put it... Maybe we don't put it here. Maybe we put it here. I don't know. If we just put that there, that's a little awkward. Maybe if we... Maybe if you put it right next to the coffee. Let's see. It's going to be a little issue every time we have to plug things on in and out. But... Let's just see. I don't think I like that, y'all. I don't know. Okay, maybe we do put it right here and then let it grow on us. How about we put it right there and just let it grow? <sighs> just let it grow, y'all. Just let it grow on us. Because I guess we could put it up there, but then what's the point if we put it up there? And obviously won't be able to stay there. Guys, let me know down below if you guys like that there or not. It has potential, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100%. So please let me know. If you don't like it, that's okay. Just let me know, please. I definitely love that right there. I love the red. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, that is all we have for the kitchen. Every time I clean out and prepare for the new year, I swear it's like somebody stole all my decor. But then it's like, no, I got rid of a lot of decor. And that's what I always do. So it's my fault. And that's what it looks like far away. Now I'm just trying to figure out my bathroom decor. Honestly, I am lost. I am so lost. I don't know what to put there. I don't know. Maybe I'll put this how it was before. I'll just put this here like that. I don't know just let me know if it looks bad because now we have a conflict here because we have that one and that one and I don't know if I like that so just let me know I might put this one back out in the living room because I don't think I like that I like how these two match but I don't know I have no clue y'all honestly it looks weird, but it's okay. That is all we have so far right there. For the bathroom, y'all, don't even ask me anything because I don't know. Do y'all think that vase goes right there or is that doing too much? It's a vase slash 
candle but it's really more of a vase than a candle so I don't know y'all let me know I think I like that vase right there but just let me know okay because that's all we have going on so far in the bathroom and it looks pretty boring but the bathroom I don't need a lot of things here because it's a lot of traffic every day so I'm okay with this but if we can add something, I would like that. So just let me know if you guys have any ideas. The kitchen, as I keep mentioning, this is pretty much it. Let's put a candle right here. Let me take my vase out and a little candle holder and put it right here. It would be really beautiful. Let's do that. So there's my little candle holder. And I bought a lot of candles during the sale for Bath & Body Works, so... We are not going to be worrying about candle, th candles this year. We have a lot. So, we're going to use this one, Tree Farm. I love it. I picked this one out because of the color, not so much the smell. Now, I'm saying I'm saying for today, but I all the candles, all the candles that I pick out, I love the smell, but I'm saying for today, out of my candle stash, I picked this one out. I feel like it kind of goes with the Valentine's Day vibe. It's not too strong. I like the color, a light blue, greenish. It's pretty and the smell is amazing so let's burn well no i'm not gonna burn this one because i am burning two other ones and so i don't i don't know that's a little com conflicting so we're just gonna leave that one over there and i have another one over there so and that one right there is from yankee candles and i'm trying to buy more yankee candles instead of buying so many bath and body works just because i feel like yankee candles have better deals but slowly but surely we'll, we'll get into that and it's the details too i mean look at that so beautiful okay that makes me feel a little better it's less empty this way but that's okay we don't need the kitchen to be cluttered either and to really match with the vibes going on for valentine's day i want to change this mat to the red mat that i have so let's do that so i just changed the drying mat and even though these two are separate, I put them together because that little one is just not enough. As you guys can see, the, the other red one overpowers it. And that's how much space I need for drying my dishes. It's pretty, but also very convenient. And I want to check up there because I believe I have like another cart that I bought from Target last year. And maybe we could take it out. Um, I want to see what's in there. Jackpot. Guess what I just scored? My cookies that are not edible because they're too old, but they're real. My watch that I could put right over there. Not here, but over there at the bar cart. And this perfectly Valentine's Day thingy. Whatever you want to call it. So let's figure out what we're going to do with this stuff. The best part about this is what's inside. I didn't think there was going to be anything inside. Hmm. Let's put this... We, we can maybe put this either somewhere there. Kind of want to put it there, like in the center, but I, I still have my butterfly. And the butterfly, I need it, okay? That's where I put my spoons when I cook. This, I can't put my spoons there where when I cook. So, maybe we put the heart right here. What do we think? I don't love it, but I definitely want to have this out for Valentine's Day. Let's just leave it there for now. And I did put the cookies right there. I would love to use Oreos for this, but I will want to eat the Oreos. So, Not that I don't want to eat the Chips Ahoy, it's just that I wanted them for the core. And then they got stale, and then nobody wanted to eat them, and now they're just the core to be kind of done with this part i did go ahead and put the clock right there i love this clock my mom gave me this clock i love it i love the sound that it makes you know the little um clock noise that it makes when it moves i love it i love clocks in general and that makes me so happy because my grandpa loved clocks too he was obsessed with the clock so i am like a mini him for right now i will leave that plant back there there and i think that is it you guys all right you guys now we're done if you stay till the end clap to you thank you so much for sticking till the end with me i'm so happy that we got this done it is january 7th and i think this is the earliest that i've ever taken down christmas stuff i was honestly gonna wait until next weekend but that's okay i just wanted 
to get the stuff out of the way because it's so cluttered i feel so yeah as you guys can see the place is very to me this is minimalistic and i'm not a minim minimalistic person at least not yet I think everybody goes through faces and I'm not at that face yet so I definitely do want to be on the lookout for other Valentine's Day decor as it approaches us once again guys happy new years and let's make this year productive not that the year matters at all because honestly 2022 2029 2020 whatever okay it's it doesn't matter okay just be productive the day starts now make a change today don't wait till next year the years it's just an excuse to procrastinate and hold off don't hold off on anything don't hold off on any plans if you want to make something happen make it happen now because if you don't if you won't chase that if you won't chase your dreams somebody else will chase them okay you can't you can't be lazy okay i know there's people out there famous people and other people the talks the stocks the scammers but you need to do your own thing and you gotta get in where you fit in okay remember life is all about connections make some connections make some new contacts meet people all around the world and travel that's that's another thing that i want to add to my I guess wish list or bucket list i don't know just like things that i want to do with my life i definitely want to travel more I'm not sure if i will be doing traveling more this year but definitely want to implement that going forward because i love traveling okay i love love traveling when i was a little girl my my passport stamps were in every page so definitely want to be traveling more is it cheap no and so it's funny because after my austin trip i finally understand how much work and dedication and love that my family my mom and my dad put into all those trips that we went to and wow we would always go to the best hotels go to the best places my dad would always be like hey let's say we go to target to be like pick out anything you want i'm grown now and i understand that it's not as easy as they make it look because i definitely feel like they made it look easy but it's not easy at all so save up some money try to eat at home make food every day oh my god that's another thing that i need to get better at planning my meals every week why is it so hard to decide what you're gonna eat why it should not be that hard it's so hard it's hard because it's like oh we just had that last week oh we just had that two weeks ago but like everything is really just a cycle it's really just a cycle and i don't like cycles i don't like that but i mean with food you can't break a cycle i mean unless you like all the food in the world which i don't like all the food in the world i'm very picky i'm a very picky eater so um definitely need to get better at that meal planning try to be there for you guys um maybe twice a week if not once a week i do have a full-time job unfortunately and fortunately so hopefully one day i can make youtube what i want to do not for the rest of my life but something that I really want to do is YouTube. And I just hope that you guys follow me on this journey. If there's any changes that you guys would, would like to see on this channel, let me know. Any content ideas, please let me know. I promise I don't bite. I gotta tell y'all that because I feel like nobody really interacts. For this year, the only thing that I wish from you guys is you guys be a little more active. If you are active, and just give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, like I always say. To your mom. Tell your auntie, tell your grandma, tell everybody you know. And I mean that, okay? I mean that. I don't just say that for it to be catchy. I mean that, okay? I mean that. I really appreciate you guys so, so much. I am toggling different socials. So I am also on Twitch. So make sure you guys check that out. Link in the description. I am on Twitch. Spicy Sophia. Same as here. If you made it till the end, let me give you one last walkthrough of the apartment and what the changes are. 2023. Let's get into it. Thank you.
Thank you.